Hey everybody, Tony D, little Jones in the background in her little crib there. Uh, and this is a screenwriter's rant in, on Fairfax, a new cartoon coming out from uh, Prime Video. I can't make up my mind if it's going to be funny or not. I think maybe, but it, it feels like a rich kid wrote it. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Uh, please check out my books. Links in the description. You have been checking them out, and I've been giving Little Joan treats. If you want to see the treats, you got to check out our videos on BitChute and Rumble. There's a news blast today. I haven't shot the other one. I don't know what I'm going to do. Anywho, um, so this is not about the pigeons, although pigeons are in it. Uh, it's about a group of kids, a kid, an average kid, supposedly from Oregon, moves to Fairfax Ave in uh, L.A., and this is his parents. Um, and it's supposedly the hippest place in the world and these are his friends who he meets and becomes friends with and they're all clout chasing each one of them chases clout that's sort of the premise of the show and he's like the cringy white kid and then like uh, this guy is the artist on the right uh, this guy I'm not sure what his deal is he chases clout as well and it's very fashion. Now, he's the fashion guy. So he's got this latrine hoodie. And then this is the political girl who does political stuff. And it would actually, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad if it sticks to making fun of everybody. And it seems to be making fun of uh, fads. Like he's doing whoop whoop and they all think he's cringy because he's doing like stuff from years ago. Um... So this is all like very fad related hipster stuff. Um, and then the pigeons are into it too. Uh, so this guy's got, yeah. So see, this is kind of funny. I mean, stop milking almonds. She's doing a political protest. So they're kind of making fun of the, uh, the social justice warriors. So that's a good sign. This is the artist. He's taking pictures of his teacher and she's like kind of hitting on him. That's a little creepy. A little creepy, but they kind of don't do anything with it, so. And then this is some girl in his school who I think he's in love with, and then this is probably the girl that's in love with him because he's an actual nice guy. And then this scene, he, like, calls his friends on the phone, but they haven't, you know, this guy here on the lower right says, I haven't talked on the phone since fourth grade. And they're all like, no, you got to text this back. Ha, ha, ha. So, I mean, it's not bad. I mean, the running gag that the new kid is cringy. They're waiting for a Dr. Phil t-shirt for some reason. I, I don't know. I'd say it's all about getting clout or dying trying. Here he is getting clout at, at some point. And here's his, his family. Here's some old people from another episode, I assume. Here he is dabbing and they all cringe. And then even the old waitress says, oh, that's, that's dead. So this is an Amazon original. I would say... And then Joaquin Phoenix is in it, too, which is kind of funny because he's very, very much... Oh, there he is. Yeah, there he is there. <laughs> talking to Joaquin Phoenix, and he's about to set himself on fire. That's funny. I mean, that's funny. It's got a lot of potential. Um, but the question is, is it funny? I mean, Ben Schwartz is in it. That's He's pretty funny. Dr. Phil's in it. Rich the Kid, whoever that is. Um, so... J.B. Smooth, John Leguizamo, uh, uh, I don't know. Vet Nicole Brown. Is she related to Nicole Brown Simpson? Um, I don't know. I'm on the fence. It doesn't look awful. It doesn't look particularly woke. But it could easily slide into it. That, that would be my worry. Because I'm not sure there's enough fads for people to... I mean, it seems very L.A.-centric to me. Now I'm older, so I don't know a lot of these fads. But, I mean, I got the joke that their their new friend is from the backwoods of Oregon, that, which seems weird. Like, that would be the wrong state to choose. I would, cho I would have cho chosen a Midwestern state, but okay, he's from Oregon and he's backwards. Mm, all right. I mean, they're pretty hip in Oregon, at least in the city parts. I guess if he lived in the red districts, in which case I don't... I don't know that I, you know, I, I guess. I mean, really, you could live in any any state and be be kind of a hillbilly. But I, 
Oregon doesn't seem the right one to choose. The right one to choose would be like, you know, Arkansas or uh, South Dakota or M Montana. Montana would be a good one because it's like very sort of, it's very sparsely populated and like it doesn't have a distinctive, you know, like accent or anything like that. But um, they chose the Oregon, which I think is just a weird choice. So you can see, you know, I, I, I get the sense though it's, you know, Ben Schwartz used to do characters on um, Parks and Rec. Him and Aziz would do characters like these where they were just obsessed with the current trends at the time. And it was funny in small doses. So I don't know if this, this uh, series is going to have legs. You know what I mean? Like one or two episodes of this could be really funny. And then after a while, I, I got to think it's going to get tiring after a while because the trends are just, you know, there's only so much mileage you get out of a trend. Yeah, I get it. These guys, these kids are very, very trendy and they're obsessed with trends. But after a while, it just gets boring. And the kids don't see it because really they're all about getting laid. Um, but, you know, after a while, you know, even kids get sick of it. You know, they get older. So I, I don't I don't feel like this has got a lot of seasons in it. You know, I I don't think there's gonna be enough grist for this mill. You know, they're they're very contemporary, right? You know, they're they're saying, you know, dab and a few other things that I'm barely aware of. Well they're 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 old and cringy, okay. So, you know, the only people who are really going to get these jokes are people who are at least up enough to know some of these very, very hot, you know, fads. And I don't know if enough people are. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it'll be that funny. I think it'll be funny for a while. Um, but I don't know if you could sustain it. That would be... So that would be my two worries that it'll, it'll, you can't sustain it and then it'll go woke because there'll be nothing else to do. But it is a good sign that they're making fun of the woke, even though they're only doing the almonds bit, which is pretty mild, but at least it's something. At least they're, at least they're willing to go there. I think they should go much harder, much harder for those characters. But I mean, there's a lot more. There's a lot more to get from the political character than there is for the fashion and art guy. Because, you know, fads and art, art can get pretty obscure. So, my advice, if you got Prime, why not check it out? I'll probably check out the first episode. I think it'll be funny at least for a couple of episodes. And Ben Schwartz isn't too bad. So, I'm, I'm leaning towards watching it. I got Amazon Prime still, so what the hell. So it's called uh, Fair Fairfax Season 1. Get clout or die trying. I'm not going to give it an upvote, but I may check it out. And that's it for this one. Uh, check me out on BitChute and Rumble for the other two videos. You're only getting half Tony and Joan. Tony and little Joan. Make sure you check us out on BitChute and Rumble. See you next time.